Hey, so what's going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mar, and I just kind of want to make this video quick, but I'm showing you all a proof video of a exploit that we now have working on the Xbox One, essentially completely cracking it open. Uh, why no one else found this, I really have no idea, uh, because the security on the system was actually pretty weak once you really got into it. Uh, but I'm going to show you all this right here, so uh, homebrew-wise, we don't really have anything worthwhile, uh, you know, homebrew-wise or anything, but... Uh, we do have a exploit that kind of allows a custom modified firmware in a way and also allows you to uh, have kind of a game loader, an unsigned game loader in some sort. Uh, this has been a collaboration between myself and Dope Swanner. We've been testing it on our consoles the past few months and uh, I think it's, it's pretty stable now. We're not going to be releasing it, at least uh, we're not going to release it with our names at any point soon due to the fact that legal purposes. And a shout out to our little birdies over at Microsoft who were able to uh, get us a few files that might have helped out here and there. But what I'm going to show you all right here is uh, the Xbox One is working. I mean, this is the legit thing right here. I'm not messing with y'all on that. Uh, it's online as well, too. So, you know, we uh, are on Xbox Live and this has been working for the past few months. Uh, but essentially, let me come over here and show you all this. So I'm going to come over to my games and apps or actually... I should show you all here, because this is going to be the important part, right? So, uh, we got the system on deck right here. There's no disc inside. Um, I haven't tried many online games, honestly, but I know this game is working, so I'm going to put in my copy of Thief right there. Uh, we're going to come right here, and I don't really want to spoil it for you all, but uh, check this out. So, Thief loaded up, right? The disc loaded up and everything. You can see it right there. Uh, I'm going to come over to my games and apps, and you can see... Where is it at? Uh, uh, it's somewhere out here. All the way over. Thief! There we go. And I'll show you all right here. I mean, this is the full game and everything. So, pop this open. It's installed my external drive. Now, this is where the magic comes in, right? Check this out. Normally, if you have a disc-based game, you're going to pop it out. And then when you pop it out and try and play that disc-based game, it gives you an error. So, again, the disc itself is right there. We're going to go ahead, pop open the game right here. And what is this? Let's wait for it. Wait for it. And the game is loading, as you can see. I mean, I'll play uh, the first little bit of it right here, but um, this game is fully working everything. Let me uh, go ahead and come out right here. As you can see, Thief right there. There is no disc in the drive. And come back over here. And this is the full game. I mean, it's not a demo or anything like that. This is the full thing, so... We have the game fully working, and this is, uh, so far we've only tested it with disc-based games. Uh, downloadable games, we're working on that as well. Uh, but yeah, essentially you are kind of able to uh, license the game in a way where it can work without the disc. So, I mean, use your imagination, what all can you do with that? As you can see, press any button, uh-huh, we got that working, Auto save feature, press A, and continue. Okay, so that all works out. Uh, now, the way this works is we've actually boiled it down where you need to compile some files yourself, put them onto a NTFS formatted flash drive, and put it in the system on boot, and it boots it up. So it's a temporary exploit right now. Um, there's no permanent custom firmware on here yet, but it's at least uh, temporary. So I'm actually going to show you all uh, how it installs as well, too, because that's kind of the important part. I already uh, put it on here. So it's temporary, as I said, but we're going to go ahead, turn off the Xbox One. The Xbox One turns off the no issue. And then just for, uh, you know, ease and all that, I'm going to pop it in to the side right here. As you can see, we have the uh, flash drive there with our files that we made. <coughs> Excuse me. Wait for that to fully turn off. Okay, it is turned off. And uh, what I'll do right here, I'll just go ahead, cut it. Ugh, there we go, turn on the console. And then when we do that, we should be able to come over here. As you can see, the exploit files are loading. And that's that comes up. So yeah, that is the exploit loading on here. As you can see, we have uh, the unsigned code and everything running. And uh, once you have that going, you're able to uh, boot into the actual dashboard eventually. It takes a few minutes. And uh, you're able to load up all of your unsigned games and all that stuff. So I know there's going to be a lot of people that think this is a fake video. So uh, to let them know, if you've gotten to the end of the video, thank you very much for getting here. But to let them know, drop a like on this video, you know, to show your support and all that. Or if you hate this, dislike it. And uh, put a comment down below showing how amazed you are at this, that we were able to get this system cracked open. Because, uh, you know, screw all the haters. So, anyways, this is Mr. Mario. 
Signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone.